All right, let's talk about this. The president signed four executive actions over the weekend, all of this to provide some coronavirus re relief to so many Americans. And it's a move that left many states and lawmakers wondering how it will get done. Call for Action problem solver Carice Jackman today breaks it all down for us. My mortgage, I have a house. And you're worried about that? <laughs> yes. Month after month, News 4 heard the cries from people, many of them filing for unemployment while struggling to make ends meet during the pandemic. And we're going to save American jobs and provide relief to the American workers. Over the weekend, President Donald Trump signed four executive orders to provide Americans relief as the country still grips with COVID-19 and the economic crisis. According to NBC News, one of the actions extends enhanced unemployment benefits that expired last week, but the amount of money people will receive will go down to $400 instead of $600. Trump's orders also makes the federal government pay for 75% of the benefits. President Trump wants states to cover the remaining 25%, something that might be difficult for states already facing budget issues this year. The president's move comes with criticism from House Democrats. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi expressed concerns that states already in a financial pinch may not be able to afford the president's new action. What he's doing is undermining Social Security and Medicare. Uh, so th these are uh, illusions. We reach out to the Department of Labor and Workforce Development for their thoughts on the president's actions and how it will impact Tennesseans. In a statement, they say they're evaluating President Trump's executive order involving unemployment benefits. They're also awaiting guidance from the U.S. Department of Labor concerning the rules and conditions of implementation of the program. Now, I also reached out to Senator Marsha Blackburn as well as Representative Jim Cooper about this. Senator Blackburn's office did reach back out to us, saying in part, many Tennesseans are grateful President Trump is doing everything he can to provide tax relief for workers and aid for those in need. It is shameful that congressional Democrats have decided November politics are more important than providing assistance to Americans in need. As for Rep Representative Jim Cooper, we reached out to him as well, and we are waiting to hear back.